Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. So if you see what he has done was, this guy, he has this uh, oil drops and the electrons get trapped here. And this guy is to observe the motion of electrons. So let's suppose one oil drop may got 8 electrons. The other girl got 9 electrons. You, you don't know how many electrons it can have, maybe 10 electron, maybe 15 electron, right? You don't know. But he observed that the charge of the whole oil drop is always multiple of this guy, 1.6 in the minus 9. Always multiple. For example, sometimes he got the charge to be 8 into 1.6, that is uh, 16, or let's suppose it has 5 drops. So 5 into 16, that is uh, 8 into 20 to the power minus 9. For some oil drop, he got the charge to be, let's suppose there are two electrons in this. So 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 9. Let's suppose it, it had three electrons. So it got 16 in this uh, 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. So this is what he got. I mean, this is not exact value, but he always got multiple of 1.6 into 10 to the minus. And he knew that there can be n number of electrons in the uh, in the oil drop, which you don't know, but with the, with the, he had, with, since he had so many, so much data, so much data, he could tell that the common value was this. And he concluded that the charge of electron has to be this. And if you know, the present accepted value is this, which is very close to the what Millikan has found. So now he has found the charge. So finding mass is very simple, correct? Because he's already found the charge. So the mass can easily be found by combining the results of the E by M ratio. So mass of electron equals nothing but E by E by M. This E is what Millikan has found. A light here was Millikan has found. And this is what Thomson has given, right? So you put the values here. What Millikan was found has found the value of E was minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. And what Thomson has given E by M ratio was 1.758820 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg. Please know the units coulomb per kg. So if you divide this, right, you get mass as minus 9.10. 74 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Since it is a mass, it can't be negative, so we will take the absolute value as positive, and that is my answer. So the mass of electron came out to be 9.01 9.1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Correct? This was easy. So now we have we know something electron, something is called electron. We know the charge of this and we know the mass of this. This is what we know, but we now also we don't know what is the structure of atom. Because now we are in 1900 era. We, not we, I mean the chemists at that time, they knew there is something called electron. They knew the charge of electron, they knew the mass of electron. That's all they knew. They don't, they were not aware of the structure of atom. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.